Morning, Situate. It's May 28th, getting to the end of May. Uh, I want to thank everybody first who participated in the Towns Memorial Day Parade and attended the service on the Common yesterday. Uh, it was a great turnout on the Common to honor those who have fallen in defense of their country. I want to thank all who participated and marched. Special thanks to the Grounds Department for doing such a great job on making the Common look fantastic. The Veterans Advisory Council, the Legion, the VFW for organizing and overseeing the event. And Sarah and Farah, the Administrative Assistant in the Department of Veterans Service, who also helped organize the event in the absence of our veterans aid. So great day. Thank you all for coming. Uh, and I hope we remember our veterans all the time, not just on Memorial Day. Quick note for people that graduation for Situate High School is this Friday at 6 p.m. Situate High School Field. So be prepared for traffic on the area of the high school around 6 o'clock. A water update, TAC Factory Pond is at plus 4. That's down from plus 7 to last week. Reservoirs at plus 5.5, down from 0.6 of last week. Rainfall was 1.85 measured at the plant, and demand for the last week was 1.305 million gallons per day, and that's up from last week at 1.274 million gallons per day. A reminder to everybody going to the beach, beach stickers are now required from now through Labor Day. Stickers can be purchased online through online services on the town webpage. In person at the treasurer's office by mail, you can go to the town treasurer's webpage for details. Select Board is accepting applications for openings on the following boards at this time. Animal Control Board, Beautification Commission, Commission on Disabilities, Council on Aging, Public Building Commission, Situate Cultural Council, and the Water Resource Commission. Applications should be submitted to the board's office by this Friday, May 31st. You can obtain the applications at the board's office or online from the Town of Situate website under boards and committees. Applicants will be interviewed by the board in June or July. After the interview is complete, the board will make appointments. For those of you who use the Purple Dinosaur, the Purple Dinosaur renovations are scheduled to start today, May 28th. Should take approximately six weeks. The park will be closed during this time. The Community Preservation Committee project entails replacing the existing playground equipment with updated structures tailored for ages two through five, and the playground will be handicap accessible. Again, during the time of the construction, the playground will be closed. So please avoid the purple dinosaur for the foreseeable future while we make that project and upgrade that playground. Uh, if you live down in the area of Jericho Road or going out to Lighthouse, the water main replacement project for Jericho Road can start covering about 4,000 feet from Turner Road to Beaver Dam Road. Uh, last week, materials and equipment were delivered and stored at the parking lot at Turner Road in Jericho and also along the project route. The project will start today with the contractor mobilizing and actual construction starting tomorrow at the intersection of Jericho and Turner Road. Work hours are 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also tomorrow, residents residing on Turner Road between Situan Ave and Turner and Jericho Road intersection can anticipate a temporary water outage during late morning or early afternoon hours as the work begins. Notices have been provided to the affected residents. If you have any questions, call the Public Works Department at 781-545-8732. Call the Water Department at 781-545-8735. As that work is going on, we will have a contractor out on Oceanside and Turner repairing two areas of seawall that have been damaged in recent storms. Uh, two small sections of the wall have broken in those areas, so the contractor will be out repairing those. That work will take about a week. We are in the midst of our annual water restrictions. Now through September 30th, all outdoor watering must occur before 9 a.m. and after 5 p.m. Automatic irrigation systems may be used one day per week as designated by the Water Department. According to your precinct, you can go to the Water Department website to find out when your precinct could water. If you've been out to the lighthouse, you'll see that the scaffolding is down. The general contractor has removed the scaffolding and bracing. The grouting is complete. The painting is scheduled to begin the end of this week, weather dependent. We also have window replacement and other interior work that will be ongoing. Right now, the project is scheduled to be completed by mid-June. And then the Historic Society has tentatively set August 7th, National Lighthouse Day, to celebrate the renovation of the lighthouse. More details as that comes closer. Situate Fire Department and Situate CERT team, supported by the Citric Rotary Club, are hosting monthly free Stop the Bleed class and hands-on only CPR sessions starting this Thursday, May 30th. It's public safety complex from 6 to 8 p.m. Seating is limited, so please email Lieutenant Dave Bortolato at dbortolato at citratema.gov to reserve your spot. The Dana-Fiber Dana Mammography Band will be back in town on June 13th from 7 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. Women aged 40 and older interested in scheduling an appointment can call the Mammography Band office at 617-632-1974. 
The van will be parked at the Luke St. Luke's Episcopal Church right across street from Town Hall. Thanks to the Reverend Natasha Stewart and St. Luke's Church for allowing us to park there. The van is fully licensed and inspected. If you have any questions, you can call the health department, 781-545-8725. Quick congratulations and shout out to Kim Brown of Jenkins Elementary School for being awarded the Crossing Guard of the Year title by the Massachusetts Department of Transportation in collaboration with the Safe Routes to School program. The annual contest, contest initiated in 2021 recognizes the vital role Crossing Guards play in ensuring the safety of students and families traveling to schools. Over 500 nominations were received for Crossing Guards across 48 communities, and the program understand, underscores the importance of their commitment and service. Kim and other winners will be formally recognized at the annual Safe Routes to School Award Ceremony on Thursday, June 6, 2024. Finally, the Citrus Food Pantry continues to see great need in the community and are grateful for your support. The most needed items remain canned white tuna, canned mixed vegetables, cranberry juice, baked beans, yellow cake mix, canned mixed fruit, granola bars, jello pudding and pudding cups, quick bread mix, and rice pilaf. These can be dropped off the food pantry during normal operating hours or in the bins behind the old gates. They can also be dropped off at the Citrus Library, the Village Market, and Shaw's. Uh, that's what uh, meetings this week. Sorry, meetings this week. Do we have a few meetings this week tonight? The DEI will be meeting tomorrow night. Capital planning and Thursday the advisory committee. That's my update for today. It looks like it's going to be a nice week. So get out and enjoy it. And thank you for tuning in. Situate.